Greetings folks coming to you today from a visit with Jen. Jen was in a video I made about a year ago. She lives in her van full time. This is a follow up video of the remodel she has done and it is fabulous. So come along with me. Okay, Jen, if you would remind us, I'll get closer so people can hear you, what kind of van this is. It is a 2020 uh, 144 wheelbase 2500 Sprinter, Mercedes Sprinter. Okay. Cargo. It, it started out I as would. a cargo van with nothing in it, correct? It did. And I made a video about a year ago and there was the only what was in here is the things you put in correct <laughs> and now it's remodeled so why don't we step in and you can take it from there so originally it was just a platform bed um just a platform that came about out to here still just a full-size bed and i had storage so we still full size but now sleeping this way and had cabinets installed um for storage fully insulated um let's see refrigerator is the same i just moved it over and this runs off the 12 volt battery or shore power mm -hmm. um, this is the most the storage a one burner sink combo for cooking and the water is on a pump. It is on a pump, and it's just a little seven gallon tank in here. You can show us that. Just a little seven gallon tank, so I have to pull it out to refill it. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's just got the drain floor, drain through the floor into a bucket. I don't have a gray tank. Okay, so no gray tank and no black tank, no black tank. just the fresh water. This is, hold on, I'll see if you get a better look at it. So this is the Yeti Goal Zero 3000, and it's 3,500 3, watts of energy, uh, mm -hmm. power. Wow. Also solar on top, so that will charge the battery. It also charges off the rig as I'm driving or when I'm uh, plugged into shore power that will charge it as well um, that was the one thing I did not want to worry about so that's where I spent the most money the most money yeah <laughs> to yeah not worry about 30 a electric. goal a goal zero 3500 that's a biggie and uh, that delivers a lot of power yeah okay and the material that the cabinets were made out of yep so bamboo uh, these are bamboo. The insulation is birch. The ceiling is birch. Um, and, and you have a Max Air fan? Max Air fan. Mm -hmm. The shelving above the cab is new. That was not there previously. Okay. That's a lot of storage. Yes. Okay, so the passenger seat swivels all the way around and faces out. The driver's side only swivels to um, this cabinet, and that kind of stops it. But I set it up this way as kind of a couch. Um, right. I can store my dog's bed under there <laughs> during the day. So you find it comfortable to sit with your legs kind of stretched out like a day bed kind of a deal. Yeah, yeah. Or mm -hmm. I can rest them on uh, the cabinet here, or I have a poof that I can rest them on. Or and you do you sometimes turn the passenger seat all the way around and sit on it that way as well? Yeah, yeah. And this little cabinet here, this is the um, toilet. Mm -hmm. And I sit there sometimes just so that I'm yeah. not sitting in my bed. I'm sleeping right. in my bed and I'm sitting in the living area. Right. Even in my very simple little van, I like having a separate seat yeah. from the bed. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Okay, so we've shut this side door. Let's talk about that new window. Yes. Um, I didn't have a window here before, 
so I had to solely rely on my blind spot detectors. This is nice for making a left-hand turn and be a being able to see. Plus, it's just a lot of light <laughs> and um, the screen, too. So much better ventilation. Love light. that. Love that addition because there was no window here before. And let's talk about that screening material. So I bought this screen on Amazon for, I want to say, under $50. Um, there is a company that makes these that you can install yourself for about $350. <laughs> so nice. I bought this on Amazon, watched their install video, and um, installed it myself underneath the weather stripping. So slowly pulling down the weather stripping, sticking it in, putting it back up. And you saved a lot of money. A lot of way. money, yeah. And you a find lot. that keeps the bugs out very effectively. I love it. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right, let's uh, maybe we could keep the door closed. I think it helps with the backlighting. And let's talk a little bit about that diesel heater. Yes, so before I didn't have heat unless I was plugged into shore and I could use an extension cord. Now I have um, a diesel heater and it's the standard S bar diesel heater. It's um, inside or underneath the seat here, and this is just the fan. Mm hmm okay and I can um, set it via a thermostat just like you would in your house you can set it for a certain day or time um, or set it just to run off and on as you want so it's wonderful it heats it up super fast um, especially now that it's insulated, it I've, heats up really fast. I've heard good things about the diesel heaters yeah. and uh, you're just verifying all yeah. of that. Yep. So let's talk a little bit about the window coverings and then we'll go back and see your garage. Okay, so um, before I just had the, driver, uh, the windows in the cab and my mom and I made all the window coverings for those. And I had the two um, windows installed here, mm -hmm. and they have screens, they open, and then the big window on the slider um, I had done, added. And lots of nice light and ventilation. <laughs> and then my mom and I made window coverings for all of those as well. And then this part right here, behind your sink and stove area, what is that? So this is just a covered birch wood and a lot of van companies will um, not utilize this two inch space but um, he just it's a cover to just insulate that area and it just gives this extra little space right like I can fit right. this here I can fit a little right. tray here just um, <laughs> when I sleep it gives me just two extra inches instead right. of getting the flare windows that cost $500 okay. a piece. So it just, it gives you just that few extra inches. And we all know that when you're uh, working with a van, every inch counts. Every inch counts. And you keep things neat and organized as much as possible. Yes. Yep. Okay, let's go back and look at the garage. Okay, now we're at the back of the van and let's talk about your storage and your mattress and so forth. Okay, so I have just about the same amount of storage as I did before. Um, just everything's stacked in bins and easily accessible. The stuff I use the most is on top or in front, mm -hmm. um, but it is about square footage wise. It's about the same. Okay. Um, I have a six inch memory foam mattress and the platform before was just wood. This platform is set up with um, venting. I'm going to get a, a picture of the venting under here. We know that that is very helpful to fight against mold. All right, we got the ventilation under here. Very nice. And this is uh, the bamboo, correct? Yes, the platform is The platform bamboo. is bamboo. Yeah. And talk about your covers on the mattress. How do you stay warm? I now have a electric um, mattress cover. So I just turn that on during the evening, let it heat up, and when I crawl into bed, I turn it off. Uh, but then I have a weighted blanket, and that keeps me super warm. And then I have 
these cubbies for storage, which I had before, but he permanently installed them. Okay, and we've got another one over here. I'll just pan over. Yeah. There's the second one. And those hold um, any extra blankets that mm -hmm. I need behind them, along with you know clothes and everything else that you need when you're traveling. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to leave Sadie out. Sadie is here relaxing because Jen is visiting her friend at the moment, who's also my friend. And uh, Sadie also goes everywhere that Jen goes. Yes, she does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jen, let's, um, why don't you go ahead and get comfortable in there and I'll ask you a couple more questions and we'll wrap it up. Okay. Okay, we're going to wrap this up, but I just wanted to ask you, maybe tell us a little bit about your use of the van in the last year and where you've been. Okay. Um, I lived full time in my van over seven months last year. Um, when I'm not traveling, I kind of stay at my parents' house or I rent an Airbnb if I need a break. But um, I spent time in Arizona, California, Oregon, Washington, Montana, and Wyoming wow. last year. So Western United States. Yes. Yes. And did you work at all during that time? Um, I did a cranberry harvest, um, not last year, but the year before. This year, um, I stayed at a harvest host at a winery. So I might go back and help them bottle this year. So just if I find something I'm interested in, I'll maybe pick up an odd job here and there. And then I saw pictures of you at a dude ranch, I think. Um, it's a working cowboy ranch um, and uh, he's a horse whisperer. And they opened their ranch this year for the first time to do a cowboy camp. So I went and spent time with um, a bunch of working cowboys and a horse whisperer for about a week and did cowboy camp. We herded cattle, we learned how to rope. Um, I think I have a picture of you somewhere there and I'll try to insert it in on the video just for fun. Okay, just to wrap it up now, um, Please tell us what you named the van and where you're headed. The van is named Calabre, which is hummingbird in several different languages. There's that favorite pillow that I love. Yes, it's beautiful. Little hummingbird on that pillow. And <laughs> so how do you say that name again? Calabre. Calabre. Yes. And that means hummingbird. Yes. Okay. And where are you headed? I am staying in California through probably the middle of March and then I'll head back up to Oregon and in June my cousin that you all are familiar with, her and I are um, going to caravan around Oregon and Washington for a month and then I'm considering an east coast trip for fall and winter wow. of this year. Okay. Well, I hope to be part of that in some small way. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Jen, for the tour and for sharing your life with us, and we'll see you down the road.